We got to have a conversation. The hate is real. The hate is growing. Just pearly. It is what it is, man. The girl's working hard, though. I got to admit that. You can't deny her her work hard. There's no... She's everywhere. She's on every single channel doing podcasts. I know she's been on Adam on the Valuetainment show, but she's everywhere. I keep looking at anything Manosphere. This girl's there interviewing, doing shows. She puts in the fucking work. Let's be honest. But Pearly Things is at 1 million five subscribers. She's on a run, man. She's on a trail. It's so fast that people are saying that it's fake. It's paid for. Then you get the fresh and fit replica. Then you get she's faking it. You get all these things, but on the run when she was at 200, 300 thousand, she was a cool chick, and you really wanted, you know, she was you know, someone you would want to work with and and looked up to because she she was one of the few chicks that kind of had your viewpoint in a lot of ways, not everything, right? But now she's at a million five. It's a whole different talking point, and now even the manosphere people are starting to go after her. And their fear is obviously the one million point oh five right now is yeah. First of all, she's she's already catching up to fresh and fit. She's gonna pass them. There's no doubt about that. She's gonna hit a new plateau, and the expectation is that uh, she's gonna change when she gets to the top. Now she's highlighted several times just to be clear that you know she may change. She's in this for entertainment, which means she's in it for the moolah cash dough. Okay. She found a lane. She saw, you know, offense. She goes, hey, you're targeting blacks. Okay. No offense. Blacks are easily, easily taken. All right. I'm black. I'm telling you. Easy group to get riled up. Easy group to get them to continue to watch. Group that's facing the most turmoil, man versus woman. A uh, group that's the most unmarried. I mean, there's so many different things you can put as data points to why you focus on black people. You know? Arg from arguments saying kind of easy to win. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Because we don't read too much. You know, that's real. That's real shit. Um, why wouldn't you attack the black market as much as possible? It is completely made for anything that you're trying to grow upon. And it's definitely entertaining. But Pearly Things also faces another task in trying to prove that she's not fresh and fit. Tough one to, to say that she is fresh or is or is not, but it's a combination of Kevin Samuels and Fresh and Fit to be straightforward with you. Okay. She didn't try to improve her dress code. She has talking points. Now she's not mentoring, but she has talking points and she has her original team members help with all the work on getting the questions asked that need to be asked and, and, and moving the moving the top top players, right, who are invited into the right position to win, right? From a talking perspective. The shows look good. She found a lane in UK, right? First of all, that's money. She took a risk, went out there, started to get big, right? Set up a show, paid for, paid for a room, etc. Did a lot of fucking work, okay? And uh, now we're we're starting to see a little bit of a little bit of backlash for all the work that she's put in. And I'd argue with you that Pearl just took advantage of a of an opening. First of all, it appears that she's probably one of the uh, one of the fifteen well known female um, manosphere chicks that that I know of. Right, there's a couple other little ones that that go on. I believe I heard them on Donovan Sharp, but really, from from my perspective, she's it. She has a Donovan Sharp stamp, which is good luck to you. You're probably gonna make it bigger than me. <laughs> He has people in there. He has a high. If you look at his rate of, of picking the right folks to join a team, he has he has the innate ability to be able to do that. And uh, he's chosen pearly things to be on his show. He had Myron on his show. He has several of these guys on the show, Donovan Sharp, and they've blown up. I don't know what it is, but Donovan Sharp is a good luck charm. I hope the oval people lo noticing that. But back to pearly. She's here for entertainment. I, I gather she will change once she gets big enough to ask her to do different content. I gather that she may turn her back on the manosphere. I agree. But there's no one really to blame but ourselves. We're the one that's pumping her. We're the one that's buying her product. We're the ones that's subscribing to her channel. So anytime a male is angry at, you know, a particular female named Pearl, I urge you, I urge you not to keep up with the Jonesies.
<laughs> Not to keep up with the Joneses and make right and make right make light of how much work this girl put in. For me, I don't take her as a manosphere chick. I, I take her as simply a girl speaking her mind, getting some facts and talking to it. Do I believe she could change and become full woman? 1,000%. Too intelligent not to. Too intelligent not to take the advantage of the systems that have really brought forth a lot of advantages for her. Right? So I, I think there's a, this is a no-brainer for me. Pearly things at 1.05 million is a no-brainer because no one else was there. There was no other female in that capacity. She's bringing on the top guests, flying them in, paying dollars. She has a little bit of a body from behind. It's like, I've never seen it fully, but it looks like she has a little butt. The rest are kind of iffy. She's dorky. She expresses her views and, and, and really ties in the f other females. For me, that's a win-win. That's a win-win for Pearly Things. I don't think there should be a discussion on her million, million, million dollar, <laughs> million plus people body count. The girl's putting the work, found the niche, and really won. I'm going to sign off here. Your boy Mikey going in. Pearly things. Is it deserved or not? Leave your comments below. It is what it is.